and you can see that this room is still not enclosed. Now the reason for this is because these walls are not room bounding. So what I mean by that is if I select it, you can see in the properties panel, the room bounding option. Now this one is room bounding, but one of them is not gonna be room bounding. So we just have to find which wall it is, is that which is kind of screwing us over. Now as I've just checked, they are in fact room bounding. All of them are room bounding. So then it makes me think, why is this still not showing up as a room? And it's saying it's not enclosed, but all of the walls are room bounding, or are they? And so if I check this bathroom wall here, I can actually see that the base constraint is going to the ground bathroom and not the ground floor like the other walls. So what that's telling me is that there's going to be a gap between the slab in that bathroom and then where that wall starts because it starts 400 millimeters above the ground floor. So what I need to do is bring this down to the ground floor and that's going to also include these two walls here. I'm gonna bring them down, bring the base offset down to the ground floor and now that's going to properly enclose that room. And we can double check that by now pressing RM and there we go. Now we've got a fully enclosed room. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.